Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today I'm showcasing a whole bunch of Kaisers. We're going to start off with some small ones, and we're going to move on to some medium to larger ones. Now, Kaiser Knives. I have a discount, a 10% discount code to Mojave Outdoors. I don't um, get anything out of it, at least at the moment. But if you would like to get 10% off Neves Knives, um, the discount code is Neves Knives. And if you want to support Neves Knives, I also have affiliate links down below as well. And I'm going to link as many of these as possible down in the description if you are interested in any of these. Starting off, this is the Kaiser Infinity N690 Steel, which... I've been really impressed with Kaiser's N690 steel. I've sharpened it a lot. I've been using it a lot. Good quality steel. Really good quality. It seems like they're doing a pretty good job with it. Now, this is a front flipper. Stupid smooth. Very, very smooth. The front flipper is rounded, but it's jimped just the right way where it's... Uh, it grabs you. I like that. So very, very easy to deploy. The liner lock is real easy to get to, and you see how smooth it is. Now, I brought this up in a video before, but if you look down in there, you can see there's these little cutouts on the side of the blade. A little square here on this side, and then right there, and then another one on this side right here. Now, for some reason, I don't know what it does, but it seems like all the Kaisers that are ridiculously smooth have that little cutout there. Now, I'm not saying, or the cutouts on both sides. Now, I'm not saying that the ones that don't have it aren't very smooth, because I can show you an example right now where a knife is false shut action, but doesn't have it. So, I'm not saying that if your knife doesn't have it, that it's not false shut, or that it's not very smooth but for whatever reasons the ones that do have it seem to all be extremely smooth now this one is a g10 model deep carry clip i do have a review of it coming up soon i just i've had a little setback with my my little surgery i had so i will be back in action you know back up to par here and you're back up to speed here in just a couple days the Kaiser Shard. Kaiser Shard. Now, this one is an example where it has it. It does have the cutouts on both sides, but it's not a false shut action. Now, it makes sense, though, because it's still very smooth. I mean, for the size of this knife, this thing is very, very smooth very smooth but it's not false shut action but like i said the the blade is so light it, it's kind of hard for this to be false shut action but it is very very smooth very well tuned just an awesome little i mean it's a very small knife but if you look at the sides of it it has these little ridges in the micarta very nice micarta but it's for this little pinch grip right here which works really good this is just a little utility blade great action great clip great carry very small nice and compact now if we step it up a little bit because this is a dirk pinkerton design by the way and 690 steel but if we bring up another dirk pinkerton design this one's the kaiser fire ant in titanium kaiser fire ant now the kaiser shard also comes in titanium and i'm going to link as many of these below and as many examples as possible below now both dirk, dirk pinkerton designs and you can see the the similarities now this one is not on bearings it is on phosphor bronze and teflon washers which makes it have a very smooth action just not a a drop shutty action but the thumb stud action works really good being deployed and the closing action it's you know what what people call sabenza smooth you know it's just very smooth on the way you know no, it's frictionless that's a good way to say it. it's frictionless very very smooth i can reverse flick it it does have a, a titanium milled clip that works really good stone washed all the way around s35 vn blade steel and this has been a little workhorse for kara uh, my lovely wife kara she's really put a beating on this little knife i used to have the kaiser rogue and uh yeah that was a heck of a work knife too you know but this one is a little bit more compact than the rogue and works really good next here's a small example but the kaiser um sorry I almost called it the shard. This is the Kaiser Lieb. Now, this is one of the best flippers 
out there for production knives. Their detent is so well tuned. I did a video on the best flipping action, and this, I think, got number one. I, I know it did. Because the detent is just, it's as tuned as you can get a knife. Now, it doesn't have um, those cutouts or anything, but very, very smooth. I know it doesn't look like it's false shutty or anything, but I mean, if I give it any effort, it will just slap shut. Now, I'm not a big fan of this micarta. However, they have better micarta. They have this same micarta on this model as the horn, which we're going to see here in a second, which in my opinion is amazing micarta. So good quality micarta comes on this knife. I just don't have the example with the nice micarta and they have a black micarta one. They have a few other examples. I will link it down below. N690 steel, great little knife. It's, it's only a three finger knife, but man, it's like one of the best little three finger knives. Next, we have another little guy, the Kaiser Yorkie. This one's an older model, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. This one does have a stasified anal finish. Great detent. It does have a slick flipper tab. I wish it had a little traction, but great little gent carry in my opinion. Small little compact knife, and these do come in other options as well. I think they come in micarta. Listen to that detent. Very nice. Titanium clip, S35 VN blade steel, nice and slicey. And this is a Ray Laconico design, by the way. I like Ray Laconico. All right, couple more small ones really quick. Very fast. This is the Kaiser V3 Vigor. It does have a dual hollow ground and flat ground tip. So a hollow ground on the flat. This one's in VG10. Very, very smooth. This one's very old, so... Um, Great little budget knife. I do like this knife and I used it for a very, very long time. It's just, it's, it, it's still kicking just fine. It's just, it's, you know, it's got some age on it. It's been well loved. So yeah, great, great knife though. Um, they did have a tight, a larger titanium version for a while. I don't know whatever happened to that. I think that might've been discontinued. The Kaiser Mini Sheepdog non-flipper. Man, I can't wait to get the big one. They got a big one coming with the non-flipper. I'm excited about it. I do think that that will be an extremely, extremely popular design or popular knife. The, the Sheepdog's already a popular knife, let alone a non-flipper version. Very, very smooth. Great micarta. Now, the large version is going to be just like this. I do wish they would make some with this micarta on the handle. This micarta right here on the handle. I, I would love to see that. Or just a plain brown one with a um with a satin blade. But I'll take it however I can get it. This micarta is real, you know, nice micarta. It does have a black washed stone, black washed um etched blade and it is 154 cm which i do like 154 cm the action is really good on this guy super good and they did cut out the access to the lock bar unlike the original one not a deep carry clip but a very very good clip and since it's a non-flipper you can get an actual four finger or a full grip on it all right next the mini bag lighter two. Now this one's the mini version and it is the clip point version. Some people call it a reverse Tonto. Some people will call it a sheep's foot. You can call it a clip point, whatever you want to call it. Awesome, awesome little knife. Now this one has the cutouts as well. And you can see how they're just little, two little cutouts right there in the middle. Now, which like, like I said, makes these very, very smooth. This one is on ceramic bearings, unlike the first one. The, the Beg Lighter 1 was on uh, phosphor bronze. The, these are on ceramic caged bearings with a ceramic detent ball. Very, very smooth. I'm very impressed with this little guy. Also, I really like the micarta they chose for this. It's kind of like a woven micarta. And yeah, N690 blade steel. Like I said, I'm really impressed with their N690. Very, very nice. Now to bring up some of the larger knives, let's bring up number two or the, the big version of the Beg Lighter 2. So this one, oh man, I'll tell you what, I've been loving this knife. Not only is it like one of the best thumb stud action knives I've felt 
I mean, it's it's so good, especially for this price range. I don't think I've ever felt thumb stud action as good as this from this price range. Awesome red micarta. And it does come in other options as well. And deep carry clip. Awesome, awesome knife. Now, this one, I don't think I can link this below. However, I do know that you can get the 10% discount that I'm linking below from Mojave Outdoors for any of these. Kaiser Duke. Now, this one has been so impressive to me. I know I was late on this one, but holy cow, is this one a great model. It almost has a full hollow grind, so it does have a swedge up top, but aside from that, this is a, basically a full hollow. Very beautiful satin finish. Access to the lock bar is really good. Now, it's not drop shutty or anything, it, but it is very smooth. But the opening action, <laughs> this is really close to like what a custom knife's action feels like from the opening deployment it is such a good flipping action it does have a big flipper tab which in my opinion i don't care as long as it has good flipping action which it does well tuned nice clip the clip is not deep carry but it winds up being very comfortable in the hand and it is a slim knife with this contoured uh you know, G10 that's black and red. I believe it comes in other colors as well. This one's an N690, the Kaiser Duke. Such a great knife, man. I really like this one, and I will be doing a review on this one very soon. Um, man, really good one right there. Next, the Kaiser Swags Swayback. This is a button lock on ceramic bearings. Very, very well tuned the detent is nice and strong which makes it really fly out and the the button lock is inset in there so you don't have to worry about accidentally hitting it you know you have to mean to push it not a deep carry clip so it winds up becoming you know pretty comfortable in the hand nice and slicey worn cliff blade and n690 you can see their beautiful stone washing on there and you can see this one's been well loved and yeah this one also just recently came out in Micarta. So they have other options besides G10 available for this knife. So if you're interested in getting one of these, but you want to see it in Micarta, you're in luck. And um, I'm not sure if I can get any links to the Micarta versions down below. But like I said, you can find them on Mojave Outdoors. Next the Kaiser Lan. Now this one has the same micarta as this one. It's just a frag pattern version. So this one has a frag pattern. Now this also comes in a tanto. So if you like what you see with this dual hollow ground um, drop point blade, but you're like, man, I wish it was a tanto. You're in luck because they make it with a tanto. Great detent. I just recently posted a review on this. So if you want to see more about this knife, Go watch the review. It got a great, oops, that was my fault. Damn it. A great review. Oh man, I got to redeem myself. So, but yeah, it did get a great review and yeah, great, great knife. And this one is by far the smoothest one. It does have those little cutouts right there. You can see them and whoo, stupid smooth. Very, very good knife like that one a lot now this one i should have already had the review done on this this is the deviant the kaiser deviant it is a sheep dog design now a spoiler alert it's getting a good review okay <laughs> spoiler alert it's getting a good review however i i've been waiting because i had my surgery so i haven't been able to be around like chemicals or anything like that i'm not allowed to blow my nose i can't i'm supposed to not sneeze or anything like that and i'm gonna do a patina in the review now if you look you can see how much it's patina just from handling it so very, very nice. So this is what will happen to it if you don't do anything to it. You know, if you just leave it alone and you just use it as is, right? So, but in my review, I'm going to show how to make it turn blue, green, all that stuff. But it will be coming very soon, guys. I'm sorry I haven't posted this one yet. It is M390 copper and micarta it also comes in another option with black micarta with a blacked out blade this is very very smooth 
Very, very smooth. Great thumb stud action. Great sharpening choil. Good geometry. Great ergos. There's so many good things about this knife. And it is a steel liner lock. And it feels super solid. I know I have the, the 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 copper version, so it helps it have a little weight to it. But not even with the weight. It's just, it feels very solid. Very, great design. And I actually like this my car too. Next to Kaiser Justice. Kind of one of those um, more of a hard use EDC knife. It is uh, a larger knife. We have N690 steel. Flat ground blade, liner lock, steel backspacer, T8 construction. So it's got a nice strong build and the action is really good. It does have those cutouts up here. So great detent and it is basically a false shut action. The thumb stud action is also really, really good on it. Nice and comfortable in the hand. Titanium clip that does have a lot of spring to it. So yeah, pretty awesome. Um, it's definitely more of a harder use uh, kind of knife, which, you know, with the neutral grips and everything, it actually does make sense with this type of build and size. So yeah, really cool. I'm actually more impressed with the Kaiser Justice than I thought I would be. So I'll definitely uh, try to link it down below. All right, now this is one of my favorite titanium frame locks from Kaiser. This is the Kaiser T1. Very strong build, beautiful stone washed blade. This one's in for sharpening S35 VN blade. So I really like Kaiser stone washing. The build quality is amazing on this. The clip works extremely well. Very, very good quality clip. The lock bar is nice and comfortable to disengage and the thumb stud action it rockets out does have somewhat of a strong detent which winds up working out really good for the thumb stud action very comfortable in the hand good geometry it's just a straight up good quality knife and that's what i love about it and it's built very very well so yes definitely one of my favorite kaisers um or favorite titanium frame lock kaisers Okay, a couple more. I know this is starting to get long, so let's pump these babies out. We have the Kaiser Critical Mini. Now, this is another very smooth one. It does not have those cutouts, though, but it's very smooth, and it's with 3V steel. 3V steel. That's awesome. You don't see a lot of uh, companies using 3V, and... I did do a review on this one, so if you want to check out the review, really good micarta, G10 pivot collar and backspacer, very good build quality, great flipping action, and this is, you know, it's a utility blade, that's what it is, that can also slice if you needed to, great work knife, um, this is going to work out great as a tool for somebody, it did take a very, very sharp edge, a very sharp mirror edge, by the way, and yeah. I, I was, it's definitely a good knife. Great knife. Great tool. Next, we have the Kaiser October with what we've named it, I guess, the Bacon Micarta. Now, it also comes in a black Micarta, a blacked out version. Very, very smooth. Now, the flipping action is really good because you have leverage, you know, way above the pivot. So it's really, uh, my example is really, really good. You can easily reverse flick it or thumb flick it. Great, great action. Now with me, I, I like this these ergos. I think they're very comfortable. They have this, this large row of jimping. So you can lock in underneath the blade and the spine really nice like that. And then your finger, your middle finger wraps right around there. Nice and comfortable for push cuts, for slicing. And if you really want to back up, you can for just regular slicing or utility cuts. It's, I find it to be very comfortable, very useful, and it's in 20 CV steel. That's amazing. And it's a great price for the 20 CV. Beautiful micarta. It is a very lightweight knife. So it's not going to be a hard use knife, but a great user. Deep carry clip. Like I said, amazing action. Nice and centered. Now, 
Last but not least, the Kaiser Horn. This guy is ugly, but I'll tell you what, stupid, stupid smooth. Look at this action. It is false shut action, and this is one of the examples that does not have the little cutouts right there, but it feels like it does because, whew, and it has a removable flipper tab. So I just don't have the flipper tab on there, but the flipper tab works very, very good. I just don't have it on here, but it does work really good. It's very comfortable in the hand, and this is, in my opinion, by far the best micarta that, that Kaiser has put out. Super smooth, very, very comfortable, great quality. You can see the quality in the micarta even through the camera. As long as you know what you're really looking at with micarta, you can really see this is good quality. Detent, very, very well tuned. Great slicer. This one is an N690 steel as well. Deep carry clip. Very tough. I mean, it's, it's very, very solid. And the action, man. Whew. It's hard to beat this action. It is very, very good. The reverse flicking um, action for the detent is just super well tuned. And with this uh, type of blade shape, it actually is very slicey, as you can see. So super good um, slicer, utility cutter, and it just works great. So, and right here is where you take